In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this little cardigan sweater, coat, or jacket for baby girls between 12 and 18 months old. Now, this little sweater is both knit and crocheted. The yoke I made using a crochet hook, and the body along with the sleeves is knit. It's very easy to make, so I hope you like it. The one we're going to make in the tutorial is for baby girls between 12 and 18 months, but you can easily make it smaller or bigger from zero to six months and up to four to five years old. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. Also in the information box, I'm going to leave the link to my Etsy shop if you prefer a written pattern. Okay, let's get started, but don't forget to subscribe, share my tutorials, and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Okay, to knit and crochet this little sweater, I'll be using this four millimeter crochet hook to make the yoke. The yoke, I'm going to make it like this. It's going to be a crochet yoke. So it's going to be from here up to here. So this part here is what we're going to crochet. And then we're going to use a four millimeter knitting needle to pick up stitches here and then continue with the rest of the sweater. Now the yarn that I'm going to be using is Erin weight yarn, this yarn here. You can also use any number four yarn or 10 ply. So I'll be using in this pink color to uh, make the yoke to give it, you know, this color here. And then I'll probably use it somewhere along uh, once we continue with the sweater and then the yoke, I'm going to make it in this color. So the main color is going to be the gray color here. So like I said, I'm using this four millimeter hook. I have 58 chains here. Now to begin on the third chain from the hook, one, two, three, right here, I'm going to make a half double crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, grab a loop, and make a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next chain, half double crochet into the next, and so on. This is how I'm going to continue for the rest of this first row. At the end of this first row, you should have a total of 56 half double crochets. Continue and I'll meet you at the end. I finished this first row. I have a total of 56 half double crochets. Now for the second row, chain two and turn. Now these two chains never count as a stitch. Now in this second row, what I'm going to do are three double crochets then into the next two. Let me show you. Be beginning on top of the first half double crochet, make a double crochet. That's one into the next. That's two and into the next. That's three. Now into the next, make two double crochets. This is how you're going to continue. So again, let me show you. Make three double crochets one, two, three, and into the next two double crochets. Continue like this and make three double crochets, then two, three, two, three, two, until you have a total of 69 double crochets. I finished this second row, I have a total of 69 double crochets. Here at the end, I finished by making these last four double crochets, but here at the end, we do not make an increase. So you should have a total of 69 double crochets. Now for the third row, we're going to chain two and turn. Remember the two chains never count. In this row, we're going to make four double crochets, then two, four, two, four, two, all the way to the end so let me show you beginning on top of the first double crochet make your first double crochet that's one two three four and into the next two double crochets this is how you're going to continue you're going to make four double crochets and into the next two Again, four double crochets and into the next two. At the end of this third row, you should have 82 double crochets. I'll meet you at the end of this third row. I finished this third row. I have a total of 82 double crochets. Now for the fourth row, we're going to chain two and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do are five double crochets, then two, five, two, five, two, all the way to the end. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet, that's one, two, three, four, five, and into the next two double crochets. 
this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fourth row you're going to make five double crochets then two five two five two until you have a total of 95 double crochets at the end of this fourth row i'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of this fourth row. I have a total of 95 double crochets. Now for the fifth row, chain two and turn. Now in this fifth row, we're going to make six double crochets, then two, six, two, six, two, to the end of this row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five six double crochets now into the next make two double crochets this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this fifth row you're going to make six double crochets then two six two six two until you have a total of 108 double crochets at the end of this fifth row i'll meet you at the end of this row I'm here at the end of this fifth row. I have a total of 108 double crochets. Now for the sixth row, chain two and turn. Now in this sixth row, we're going to make seven double crochets, then two, seven, two, seven, two, all the way to the end of this row. So let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's two, three, four, five six seven double crochets and into the next two double crochets this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this sixth row you're just going to make seven double crochets then two seven two seven two all the way to the end until you have a total of 121 double crochets at the end of this sixth row continue and i'll meet you at the end I'm here at the end of the sixth row. I have a total of 121 double crochets. Now for the seventh row, chain two and turn. Now in this row, what I'm going to do are eight double crochets and then two, eight, two, eight, two. Let me show you. Beginning on top of the first double crochet, make your first double crochet. That's one, two, three, four, five six seven eight double crochets and into the next two double crochets this is how you're going to continue for the rest of this seventh row you're going to make eight double crochets then two eight two eight two until you come here to the end here at the end into this second double crochet before we finish i'm going to add an extra double crochet so that i finish this row with 135 double crochets continue i'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to do that increase i'm here at the end of this seventh row i still have these last two double crochets now here into this next double crochet make two double crochets and now here at the end make one double crochet so here i made an increase at the end of this row you should have 135 double crochets now for row eight we're going to change color here so i'm going to use this pink yarn and what i'm going to do here is i'm actually not going to close this last double crochet here i'm going to Put a loop here on top of the hook and i'm going to grab a loop also with the pink yarn and join or close this last double crochet with the pink yarn and the gray now with the pink yarn we're going to continue for the next row so for row eight chain one and turn on top of this first double crochet make a single crochet now i'm going to skip one double crochet and into the next if i count from here that's the third double crochet I'm going to make a bean stitch so yarn over insert your hook grab a loop yarn over grab a loop yarn over grab a loop I have seven loops on the hook make sure that these loops are nice and loose so that when we close it doesn't get caught in the loops now chain three single crochet into the same stitch where we did the bean stitch again yarn over skip two double crochets and into this third one 
make another bean stitch. Seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. Again, yarn over, skip two double crochets, and into the next, another bean stitch. Seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet. One more time, skip two double crochets, and into the next, another bean stitch. Seven loops, close, chain three, single crochet continue like this to the end of this eighth row i will meet you there to show you what we need to do next i'm here at the end of this eighth row i have a total of 44 bean stitches that's what it looks like now here at the end on top of the last double crochet make a single crochet and this is how i finish this eighth row now for the ninth row we're going to turn do not chain or anything just turn like this so that the yarn remains behind the hook now in this ninth row what i'm going to do is i'm going to go down to the seventh row which is this row here in gray and beginning into the first double crochet right here these are the two chains so into this first double crochet insert your hook like this grab a loop and make a front post single crochet now chain one skip one double crochet and into the next work a front post single crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next front post single crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next front post single crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next front post single crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next front post single crochet chain one skip one double crochet and into the next front post single crochet this is how you're going to continue all the way to the end of this ninth row and this is what it looks like here in the front look how beautiful that looks now continue like this i will meet you here at the end of this row to show you what we need to do next Okay, I went ahead and finished this last row. This is the ninth row. I have a total of 135 stitches here at the end of this row. Remember that for row seven, we went ahead and added an extra stitch before we started this row bean stitch, so you should have 135 stitches here. Now we're going to start the knitting part, so I'm going to be using this four millimeter circular knitting needles. These are 64 inch long circular needles. Now I cut my yarn here because it's easier to go this way, like this to the side, into this last stitch here, right to the side. I want to make sure that these rows here are also nice and straight, just like we have for the crochet part. So grab a loop here and bring it through the front. And here's our first stitch. Now you can tie this end here with this here so that that stitch here at the end doesn't open and then just go back and fix it this is just a, a knot so that my yarn there doesn't open up this last stitch so now we're going to continue along and pick up these stitches I'm going to have a stitch or two extra here here's my extra stitch then I'm just going to go through this last single crochet here and grab a loop right there now these are the chains you just go through here both loops like that and then the single crochet grab a loop and then the chain space again grab a loop single crochet grab a loop the chain space grab a loop the single crochet grab a loop the chains grab a loop and so on you're just going to continue like this all the way to the end now if you pick up an extra stitch or two it's okay like i said we're going to increase anyways in the not the next row but the following so continue finish picking up your stitches i will meet you right here at the end to show you what we need to do next 
Okay, I finished picking up all of the stitches. I have a total of 137 stitches uh, here at the end of this first row. I added an extra stitch at the beginning and at the end, right along the very edge. Make sure that you do the same thing. So I have 137 stitches now for the second row. I'm just going to go ahead and knit across these 137 stitches. So all you're going to do is just knit. So continue like this, knit all your stitches, and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, I finished this second row. I have a total of 137 stitches. Now for row three, this is where we're going to make an increase. We are going to increase a total of 45 stitches here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to knit the first stitch, then I'm going to knit two more. And then we're going to add one or make one and the easiest way is to pick up this bar in between the stitches and put it on your needle like this and knit through the back like this let's see knit through the back like that and then again you're going to knit three keep count of how many stitches you have added until you have added 45 extra stitches so that's let's see that's two, one, two, and then the, so here I need to make another one. So pick up that bar in between, put it on your needle, and then knit through the back like this. So that's two, and then I'm going to continue and knit three, and then make one again. Pick up that bar, knit through the back. And that's all I'm going to do keep track like I said of your uh, stitches that you're adding so far I've added three so I'm going to continue like this until I have a total of 182 stitches at the end of this third row so however way you want to do your increases or your make one it's fine the important thing is that you add a total of 45 more stitches so that at the end of this third row we have 182 stitches continue and I'll meet you at the end of this row Okay, finish the third row. I have a total of 182 stitches at the end of this row. In this row, we increased 45 more stitches, so make sure that you have a total of 182 stitches at the end of this third row. Now for rows four, five, and six, all we're going to do is just knit across. We're going to do the next couple of rows here, and then we're going to divide the sleeves. So the first stitch we knit, knit, and knit all the way to the end, turn, knit the first stitch, and then continue until we have a total of six rows. Okay, and this is all we're going to do. We're not going to increase or anything. We're just going to knit across, and we're always going to have 182 stitches. Continue, and I'll meet you at the end of the sixth row to show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these six rows like I told you. We're going to continue and make a couple more rows. I want the yoke here to measure between 11 and a half and 12 centimeters. Right now, it's only measuring about 10 centimeters. So we're going to continue and just do exactly the same thing. You're just going to knit each one of these stitches all the way to the end and then do the same thing for the next row. And continue watching I'll let you know exactly how many rows we're going to do so far I have six so we have uh, three rows of these uh, ridges here okay I finished making this part here I did a total of 12 rows we have two four six eight ten twelve so you should see six ridges here this is the right side the yoke is done it's measuring from here to here it's measuring about 11 and a half centimeters which is about 4.5 inches now what we're going to do in the next row row 13 is we're going to divide the sleeves now like I said this part here has 182 stitches so to divide the sleeves each one of the front panels uh, is 26 stitches so 26 and 26 each one of the sleeves has 38 stitches and for the back side it's 54 so 54 for the back side 38 for each one of the sleeves and 26 for each one of the front panels so now to divide the sleeves here 
um, we're going to work the bottom part of the sweater first and then we're going to go ahead and knit the sleeves I'm going to knit the sleeves in the round using the magic loop technique so here to begin this is going to be row let's see I think I'm going to call this the first row instead because that way I can tell you how many rows I'm going to do from here on all the way to the bottom so let's start here the first row where we're where I'm going to divide the sleeves I'm going to knit up to the first stitch marker so I'm going to knit 26 here that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. Now we have 26 stitches here. We're going to put them on hold for just a little bit because I'm going to remove the stitches here for the sleeves. So for the sleeve, you should have a total of 38 stitches. And let's see, we're going to need some yarn here and one of these needles, and we're going to remove these stitches. Okay, so here are my 38 stitches. I'm going to tie a knot here. Now, what I'm going to do here as well is into this first stitch, I'm going to mark the first stitch. That way I know that when I do the sleeves, I'm going to start with this sleeve here where the stitch marker is, and I'm going to start this way. Um, I've done this before where I start the opposite way and uh, it's a mess so I don't want to do that so I like to mark my beginning of the row for the sleeves okay so we removed our stitches for the sleeve now we're going to add let's see here under the sleeve we're going to add three stitches yes I'm going to add three stitches one two three now we're going to continue here and knit the stitches here for the back side. For the back side, we should have 54. So remove this stitch marker. We don't need it anymore. We're just going to knit like this the stitches for the back side. I'm going to do this off camera, so I'll come back and show you how we're going to divide the other sleeve. Um, I'm just going to remove these stitches so you can go ahead and do that after you do this, and then I'll show you how we're going to separate them. Okay, I finished knitting these 54 stitches for the back side, and I went ahead and removed the stitches here for the sleeve. I have 38 stitches for this second sleeve, and I also went ahead and put a stitch marker to mark here uh, the beginning or where I need to start the sleeve when I do that um, after we finish the bottom. So now we're going to continue and add three stitches here under the sleeve. So uh, add, let's see, add three stitches and now continue along and work these last 26 stitches for the front panel so like this Okay, so here's my last stitch we're going to knit. Now, 
the first row is done where we separated the sleeves at the end of this row you should have a total of uh let's see 112 stitches we have 26 plus 26 for the front panels 54 stitches for the back side and then we have three stitches under each sleeve that's a total of 112 stitches at the end of this first row now for the second row we're going to just knit across so we're going to start here knit the first stitch and i'm going to do this until i come to the three stitches we added under the sleeve so that i can show you how you're going to work those three stitches okay so here are the three stitches you just knit the first one knit the second one and knit the third one and then continue along and knit the stitches for the back side and when you come to this other side where we have the other three stitches you just do the same thing and then continue and finish this second row i will meet you at the end of the second row to show you what we need to do next okay i finished making the second row from here on we're just going to continue and repeat that same row we are always going to have 112 stitches from here on and all you're going to do for every row is knit every stitch beginning here with the first stitch then the second and so on all the way to the end of the row and then you're going to do exactly the same thing for the next I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do here, but continue watching. I will let you know exactly how many rows I'm going to do. Here, I'm going to place a stitch marker before I continue to mark the second row, and that way I can tell you how many rows I'm going to have. So let's see, this is the second row. So we have the first ridge here. So continue finish this third row and then start on the next and then so on until you have the number of rows that i'm going to have at the end here so continue watching i'll let you know so i will meet you at the end of that row i've done 45 rows i'm about to start row 46 row 46 is going to be worked on the inside here so what i'm going to do for the next two rows we're going to stop using the main color here and instead i'm going to start this row with this new color so all you do is just knit the first stitch then knit and knit and that's it that's all we're going to do so i'm going to do this for two rows one thing when you finish this row you're going to turn and come back and then what you're going to do here is make sure to carry the yarn the main color yarn here uh, along with the pink so i'm going to come back and show you uh, how you're going to do that. So, okay, I finished making these two rows here with the pink color. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to make two more rows with the pink. So we're going to turn our work here. So now here, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that the gray yarn here is at the same level as the pink. So we're going to twist the yarn like this. See, here's the gray. So go under with the pink like this. And now we're going to start knitting with the pink and the gray yarn here is now at the same level as the pink yarn in this row so here we're going to now continue with the pink yarn and we're going to do two more rows so knit the first stitch then knit and knit and so on and then you're going to turn come back and then we're going to switch back to the gray yarn okay i finished making these four rows in pink so now I'm going to continue with the gray. I'm going to do a couple more rows and then I'm probably going to change yarn again, maybe do a row or two with the pink yarn towards the bottom of the sweater. Continue watching, I'll let you know, uh, or you'll see how uh, it's going to look at the end. So here, to switch back to the gray yarn, I'm just going to grab the gray yarn here and I'm going to leave the pink yarn here and as i continue and do more rows i'm going to make sure to just twist like this over the um, gray yarn and that way we're carrying the pink yarn along with the 
gray yarn along the side so here we're going to leave the pink here and with the gray yarn i'm now going to continue and knit this next row like this so i'm going to continue here with the gray just doing the same thing we did here and then continue watching and you'll see um, what i did here if i do decide to change color i'll let you know when i did it and so on so continue watching you'll see the um, end result there okay so i'll meet you once this part here is done okay i finished making the bottom part of the sweater now from here from where we divided the sleeve up to this last row i have a total of 68 rows now just to recap i did a total of 45 rows in gray then i switched to pink and did a total of four rows and then again i switched to gray and i did a total of eight rows and then again i switched back to pink and did four rows now here at the end i have seven rows in gray so that's a total of 68 rows if you want to make this part here longer you can uh, this part here from under the sleeve up to this last row it's measuring about 8.5 inches which is about 21.5 centimeters if you want to make it longer you can that would be up to you now what we're going to do for row 69 is we're going to cast off our stitches now here to begin knit the first stitch then knit the second stitch. Now bring the first stitch over the second stitch. Make sure that these stitches are nice and loose so that this part here at the bottom is nice and stretchy. Let me show you again. So knit the next stitch, bring the stitch over the first. Now again, knit the next stitch and bring the stitch over the first knit the next stitch bring the stitch over the first knit the next stitch and bring the stitch over that's all we're going to do so continue like this finish this part and then i'll come back and show you what we need to do next okay i finished casting off all of my stitches the bottom part is all done so now what we're going to do here is we're going to work uh, this front panel and we're going to make the button panel here on this side first so don't cut your yarn so what you're going to do here is we're going to go right in the middle of the rows so here's the little ridge so right in the middle we're going to pick up stitches the important thing here is that you don't pick up too many stitches um, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it and once I get up here I'll let you know how many stitches I have so that you can have the same number of stitches make sure you don't pick up too many stitches here so here I have my first stitch insert your hook between the next two rows and grab a loop between the next two grab a loop between the next two grab a loop like this between the next two rows so right about here pick up another stitch now there's no right or wrong way of doing this this is how I'm going to do this you can also make this part here using a crochet hook if you want to do it instead you can do that so so far I have five stitches so in between the next two pick up a stitch that's six seven
and 55 let's see 55 and the chain row 56 I think that looks pretty good if you have one or two stitches less or, or more it's okay the important thing is that you pick up the same number of stitches that we do here on this side you do the same here on this side so I think that looks pretty good we have 56 stitches so now we're going to start to knit our way down and we're just going to turn here so now to do this part I'm using the same needles the 3.5 millimeter needles so here knit the first stitch all we're going to do is just knit like this okay so work your way down and then you're going to work your way up I think I'm going to do about four rows here We'll see how it looks if I do more or less I'll let you know continue watching I will let you know how many rows I'm going to do but I'm thinking four rows so all you're going to do is just knit then turn and then knit your way up turn knit your way down that would be row three and then knit your way up that would be row four so continue watching You'll see how many rows I'm going to do here. So I'll meet you once this part here is done. Okay, I finished making the front panel. I did a total of six rows. I mentioned four or five rows, but no, six rows, I think it's perfect. So we have two, four, six. So now in the seventh row, we're going to cast off our stitches. If you want to make this part here a bit wider, you can. I'm just going to leave it like this. So to cast off your stitches, same thing we did at the bottom, knit the first two stitches, then bring the first stitch over the second again knit the next stitch and bring the second stitch over the first and this is all we're going to do for this part and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side so I'm going to finish this part once I'm done here I'm going to cut my yarn and then we're going to get started on the other front panel okay I finished casting off all of my stitches and as you can see this is how I'm going to place my buttons here now what I'm going to do here is since I didn't make any button holes and I have these little buttons these are nine millimeter buttons if you have eight or nine they work as well well, I just happen to have these I don't have any smaller ones so I'm going to use these nine millimeter ones and as you can see let me show you the spaces in between row five and six right here the stitches are big enough or the space is big enough for this buttonhole to go through so there's no need for me to add any buttonholes as you can see they fit perfectly so that's what i'm going to do and i think i'm going to add i don't know one two three four five i think that's that's pretty good so that's what i'm going to do so um now let me show you how you're going to do this other side you're going to do exactly the same thing same number of stitches that we did here we have 56 stitches here so we're going to do the same here so to do this part here we're going to start here at the top and then work our way down i'm going to just start you off here and then you're going to do the same thing it's exactly the same way how we did it here that's what it looks like so let's get started here let's see we're going to use the same needles I'm going to start up here into the chain row this is where I did my last um, stitch so let me find a spot oh, right there is fine so I'm going to grab a loop here with this gray yarn here's the first stitch now we're going to work our way down into this next row grab another one that's two let's see that's three
I almost lost my stitches here. Just need to do one last one here at the end. 56. Okay, 56 stitches. Perfect. So now this is what it looks like. Now you're going to do the same thing we did here. We're going to do six rows and then on the seventh row, we are going to cast off our stitches. So continue, do this part from here on. You just knit your way up, turn, knit your way down until we have six rows. And then we're going to cast off our stitches just like we did here in the same way, exactly the same thing um, here on this side. So finish this part and then I'll come back and show you how we're going to do the sleeves. Okay, I finished making the other front panel. That's what it looks like. Here's the inside. That's what it looks like. Now, I also went ahead and added my little buttons here. These buttons, like I said, these are nine millimeter buttons. You can also use eight millimeters. And my button holes are right here, right in the middle between these two rows. There's a space there, and that's what I'm using as my buttonhole. I totally forgot to make the buttonholes here on this front panel. Now, if you want to make buttonholes, you can. All you have to do is wherever you you're planning to put a buttonhole, you're going to do a knit two together, then yarn over. And then when you come to the next spot, knit two together and then yarn over. And then in the next row, the yarn overs, you're going to knit through the back loop and make sure that you end up with the same number of stitches. Um, it's very easy. I totally forgot, but you can also do this. Now, my buttonholes, I put them every 10 stitch. So all I did was just count this little stitch here one two three four five six seven eight nine and then ten and that's how i spaced my buttonholes and i think they look pretty good that's how i'm going to do mine now what we're going to do next is we're going to make one of the sleeves so i'm going to show you here on this side so facing me so it would be the left side so right here we're going to go into this sleeve and we're going to start right here, right in the center. So we're going to attach our yarn right here. So with the help of a crochet hook, just find a spot right in the center here and we're going to grab a loop here. This is so that it's easier to start knitting. So bring one end through and then just tie a knot like that. Now we're going to go through this same stitch. We're going to be using the same needles, the four millimeter knitting needles. Eventually I'm going to switch to shorter ones so that I can knit the sleeves in the round, but you can knit the sleeves in the round using the magic loop technique, which is how I'm going to show you here. Um, you can also knit the sleeves in rows and all you're going to do is just knit one row and then knit the next and so on so that the stitch here is the same uh, but you're going to be left with a big opening where you're going to have to seam the sleeves i'm not going to do it that way i'm going to knit my sleeves in the round so here to begin we have this space here where i uh, pulled the yarn through and we're going to go through and pick up this first stitch so just go through like this grab a loop bring it through the front here's our first stitch now right here is where we added these three extra stitches so I'm going to pick up uh, let's see uh, another stitch I'm going to go right here and pick up this stitch make sure that when you pick up your stitches there's not a big hole left um, like that see there's a big gap so I'm going to go right here instead and pick up a stitch See, that looks better. Now I have two stitches and then I have the first stitch here. So I'm going to pick up, let's see, the stitch in the center and a stitch on the side. And when I do this other side, I'm going to do the same thing. So now we have our stitches that we left here. There's 38 stitches and all you do is just insert your, let's see, uh, is we're going to knit the stitch here like that. And then the next one, knit the next stitch, and then knit the next stitch. You're going to need lots of patience for this part here because there's no needle here on this side. You can certainly add a needle if it's easier, but I'm going to do it like this. Maybe like a double pointed needle and then you just pick up your stitches as you go like that see so we're knitting the first row here as well so that's how i'm going to continue all around this sleeve and we're going to pick up these stitches all around 
like that. Now, let me show you with a double pointed needle. You just pick up these stitches if it's easier. And pick them up like that. And then push your needle. And then you just knit the stitch. Like that. If it's easier for you, you can do it like this. And then again, pick up the next couple of stitches. Push and then knit like that okay so this is how I'm going to continue all around the sleeve and pick up these 38 stitches and then we're going to be right here so I'll meet you right here to show you how we're going to um, finish this first row okay I'm here at this other end now I picked up my 38 stitches plus the two stitches that I picked up here at the beginning I have 40 stitches up to here now I'm going to pick up a two more stitches and I'm going to do it right here right in the center I'm going to pick up one stitch let's see that leaves a big gap there so let's find another spot maybe here uh, yes that looks pretty good and then right here right in the center pick up another stitch so now I have a total of 42 stitches so we're going to put all of our stitches here together and now since I'm using the magic loop technique I'm going to turn this here and I'm going to divide my stitches here in half so you should have 42 stitches pull the loop here push your cable to continue here I recommend that you put a stitch marker so we're going to put a stitch marker here I have 42 stitches here since we're going to knit the sleeve in the round using the garter stitch I'm going to have to knit one row and then purl the next knit purl knit purl now since this first row here I knit I'm going to now purl this second row so here to begin this second row as I mentioned I am going to make a reduction here at the beginning so to do a reduction all you do is just purl two together in this case because it's a purl row so purl two together and then purl two together so here i reduced two stitches and now we're going to purl until i come to my last stitch here in this needle so let's see let me count the stitches we have two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen now drop that needle turn push your cable grab the needle from the back and then we're going to purl so this would be 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 32 33 34 35 36 now I have these last four stitches I am going to purl two together that's 37 and then purl two together these last two so now I have 38 stitches and these are the stitches that I'm now going to continue. I'm not going to make any more reductions. Here's my stitch marker to mark the beginning of the row. So now I'm going to turn for the third row, but before I continue, I'm going to put a stitch marker here to mark the second row. That way I can tell you how many rows I'm going to do here for the sleeve. So put a stitch marker here to mark this second row. So right there now for the third row 
grab the needle from the back, and here we are going to knit in this third row. Keep track of your rows because like I said, you're going to have to knit for one row and then purl the next. And you're going to continue with 38 stitches from here on. And that's all we're going to do. So here I'm going to knit these 19 stitches until I come to the last one so that I can show you how to work the stitches here in the back using the magic loop technique. Now turn here, push your cable, grab the needle from the back, and then continue and knit until you finish this third row. Here's my last stitch. I'm going to knit drop that needle now put your stitch marker here to mark the beginning of the row turn now grab the needle from the back and for this fourth row now you are going to purl all around so bring your yarn in front of this needle and start to purl Now don't forget that you have to knit for one row and then purl the next so that you can continue with the garter stitch. Now I'm not sure how many rows I'm going to do, that's why I put a stitch marker here. So continue in the same way, knit one row, purl the next, until we reach the number of rows that I'm going to have. So continue watching, I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do, so I will meet you at the end of that row. Okay, I'm almost done with the sleeve, this is what it looks like now. So far, I have done 60 rows. Let me measure this for you. So far from here, from under the sleeve, this is where I put the stitch marker. Let's see, it's measuring. It's about 16 centimeters, which is about 6.25 inches. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to switch to these 3.5 millimeter kneading needles. Now, if you're using any other needle size to make it smaller or bigger, following the instructions down here in the information box, then just go down half a needle size from whatever needle size you started with. So with the 3.5 millimeter kneading needles, we're going to do a total of 10 rows. And all you do is just knit the next row. So for me, it's a knit row, so I'm going to just knit like this. So here I'm just going to continue with a 3.5 and once I finish uh, these next two rows, I'm going to put a stitch marker to mark uh, the first two rows and then I'm going to do this until I have 10 rows or five little ridges like this. So continue and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished making these 10 rows here using the 3.5 millimeter circular needles. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. Now, for the next eight rows or so, I'm going to now make the cuff. So to do the cuff here, all I'm going to do is knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. So here to begin, I'm going to knit the first stitch, purl the next, knit, purl knit and purl. This is all I'm going to do for this row. When I finish this row, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with a knit and then purl and do the same thing all around. We're going to do this for a total of, I'd say about seven or eight rows. Continue watching. I'll let you know how many rows I'm going to do. And this is all I'm going to do. Knit one, purl one, knit one, purl one. Continue like this and I'll meet you once this part here is done to show you the finished sleeve. 
Okay, I finished making the cuff. I did a total of eight rows. Now what we're going to do in the next row is we're going to cast off our stitches here. We're going to now close this last row. So to do this, we're going to knit the first stitch. Make sure that these stitches are nice and loose. The next one, purl. Now bring the first stitch over the second, like this. Now again, knit one, bring the first stitch over the second, purl the next, bring the first stitch over the second, knit the next stitch, bring the stitch over the second, and so on. You just knit and purl, and when you have two stitches, bring the first stitch over, and then continue and do the same thing. This is how I'm going to cast off all of my stitches to finish this sleeve. So continue, let's finish this part and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I finished casting off all of my stitches. Here's my last stitch. I cut my yarn and here's my last loop. Now I'm going to join to the first stitch here with the help of a crochet hook. Just insert your hook right there and you're going to grab this loop here, bring it through the front like this and now pull a loop and pass it through that last stitch and it's joined and this part here is done. That's what it looks like. Now you can just hide this end here on the inside and the sleeve is all done. That's what it looks like. Now we're going to do exactly the same thing we did here for this sleeve on the other side. We're going to do a total of 60 rows with the four millimeter circular needles, and then we're going to switch to 3.5 millimeter circular needles for a total of uh, 10 rows, two, four, six, eight, 10. And then we're going to do the cuff here for a total of eight rows uh, where we do knit one, purl one. So let's get started here for the second sleeve. So this sleeve we picked up here and we went around. Now we're going to go here and we're going to start here on this side. I have my stitch marker, but first remember that we need to attach the yarn here right in the center. And we're going to pick up two stitches here on this side. Now with the help of a crochet hook and leave a nice tail here, we're going to go right in the center and we're going to grab a loop here like this. Now we're going to tie our yarn, leave a little tail here so that once we're done here, there's a gap between the stitches here around the sleeve and this area here. You can use this end here to close the gaps. So we're going to put that on the inside. Now with our four millimeter kneading needles, we're going to again insert our needle right there into that same space and we're going to grab a loop there this here is going to be our first stitch so now i'm going to pick up one more stitch right here so right in the middle find a spot where it's not going to leave a big gap i'd say right there so there's our second stitch now we're going to pick up our stitches here for the sleeve. Now, an easy way to do this is with a double pointed needle like this, where you pick up all of these stitches like this. And we're going to knit the stitches. So pick up a couple stitches, push your needle here and in this row, we're going to knit. So knit the first stitch here for the sleeve, knit the next one, knit the next one, and so on. If you don't have double pointed needles, then all you do is just carefully pick up this stitch here and grab a loop like this. I prefer to do it with these double pointed needles. It's so much easier. So you just pick up these stitches here, push the needle and then knit. And then you're going to repeat the same thing until you have finished all of the stitches here around the sleeve. Here we have 38 stitches. We need to finish with 42, just like we did on the other side. So continue like this for this first row. I will meet you here at this end to show you what we need to do next. 
Okay, I finished these 38 stitches. Now I need to add two more stitches between here and here. So there's no right or wrong way of doing this. You're just here, you just want to find a spot that's not going to be left with a big hole. See, I can do here, and then with the yarn that we left here, uh, I can close that gap. Or I can go further down, right there. I think that's better. So that's one. Now I need to pick up one more stitch. So I'm going to do it right here. There. These are my two extra stitches here at this end. Now I have a total of 42 stitches all around. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to start the second row and we're going to use the magic loop technique again where we knit the sleeve and the round. Now here I need to purl two together, purl two together to reduce two stitches here so that I am left with a total of 38 stitches. And at the end here, we need to do the same thing. So we're going to purl these first two stitches here. Remember, we um, alternate between a purl row and a knit row. The first row that we did was a knit. So this second row here is a purl uh, row. So purl two together here at the beginning and then purl two together. You can remove the yarn that we have here where we uh, were holding these stitches. You can just pull it. I'll go ahead and do that after I finish this row. So here I did my purl two together and now I'm going to purl all around for this second row. There, now I have these last four stitches. We're going to purl two together, these next two, and then purl two together, the last two. Now you should have a total of 38 stitches here. And from here on, we're now going to continue for a total of 60 rows. We're going to do the same thing we did for the other side. So I would put a stitch marker here to mark the second row and put a stitch marker to mark the beginning of each row because remember we have to knit for one row and then we purl for the next. So here's my stitch marker to mark the second row and here's my stitch marker to mark the beginning of each row. So this next row, row three, I'm going to knit Make sure you count your stitches. Make sure you have 38 stitches. We want to always have 38 stitches here for this sleeve. So this is all I'm going to do now. I'm just going to knit all around for this third row. When I finish this row, I'm going to purl, then knit, purl, knit, purl, and continue until I have a total of 60 rows. Then you're going to do the same thing you did here. You're going to change to 3.5 millimeter knitting needles and you're going to make two four six eight ten rows and then you're going to finish with the eight rows that we did here for the cuff and then cast off your stitches to finish um, this sleeve so i'm going to go ahead and finish this sleeve and then i'll come back and show you the finished little sweater Okay, I finished making the second sleeve. This is what it looks like. I did it exactly in the same way as I showed you here for the first sleeve. So the little sweater is almost done. Now here for the yoke, I started doing some surface slip stitches. So I'm going to show you how I did these two rows. It's done exactly in the same way and I'm doing this every second row. So we have one, two, and then right in the middle of the second and the third row. So right here, I did these surface slip stitches and then again, one two and then in the middle of the let's see one two three four 
uh, between the fourth and the fifth row, I did another row. So now I'm going to do one last row right here into this, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So between the sixth and the seventh rows. It's done exactly in the same way. I just started playing with these surface slip stitches here and I like the way that they looked. On the inside, this is what it looks like, so, just so you can see. It's a very nice clean stitch. So once you're done here at the end, you just hide your ends here. So to do this, I started mine on the right side. Let me undo this button here. So I started mine here facing me. This is the right side. So I started here on this side. So that's where I'm going to start for this third row. So like I said, I'm going to do this between the sixth and the seventh row. So right along this edge right here. So to do this, you're going to grab your yarn in this case, I'm going to use the color here, the pink, and we're going to use this five millimeter hook. I highly recommend you use a slightly bigger hook to do this. So if you start it with a four to do your sweater, then go up a full uh, crochet hook size. So we're going to do a five millimeter hook here. So here to begin, you're going to uh, hold the yarn like this and go under and find the spot where you're going to start. So for me, pull your stitches in where you see the little holes right there. That's where we're going to be doing our surface slip stitches. So I'm going to start, let's see, right here, right about there. Insert your hook there, grab a loop here. Don't make a knot or anything, just grab a loop like this. Bring it through like that. Make sure to let go of the end, grab the yarn that's coming from the skein, and you're going to go into the next stitch. Insert your hook, and right here, grab a loop, bring it through the front, pull this so that that stitch closes, and then you're going to do the same thing for each one of the stitches. See, right there, you see the, the little hole? That's where you're going to be inserting your hook and you're going to be making these surface slip stitches just like this make sure that you keep the same tension all around and that way it looks pretty so like this if you don't like how it looks just undo it and go back in and do it again now this here requires a lot of patience because it's a lot of work. So that's all you have to do. And I did the same thing for these two rows here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what we need to do next. Okay, I'm here at the end of this row of surface slip stitches. Here at the end, cut your yarn and make your last stitch, your last slip stitch. Now pull you, your yarn through this last loop and now you can hide this end here on the inside through this row here, which is what I did here. So you can do the same thing. Now, I also went ahead and did the same thing in gray for the rows in between the pink rows. So here and here, and that's what it looks like. Very pretty. The little sweater is all done and that's what it looks like. I absolutely love, love this little pattern here. So I hope you like it as well. So the little coat, jacket, or cardigan is all done. So now let me give you the finished measurements. From the top of the neckline to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 32.5 centimeters, which is about 12.75 inches. From under the sleeve to the end of the sleeve, it's measuring about 20 centimeters, which is about eight inches. Now, let me give you the width of this sleeve. Let's see, it's measuring about, let's see, it's almost four inches, which is about 10 centimeters. Now, from the top of the neckline down to the end here, it's measuring about 33 centimeters, which is about 13 inches. Now this part here, I always get asked right across, right here. This measurement is about 13.5 centimeters, which is about 5.25 inches. And here the waist, just the top, it's measuring about 27 centimeters, which is about 10.5 inches. 
So based on these measurements, this little coat, jacket, or cardigan is for little girls between 12 and 18 months old. Now you can also make it smaller or bigger. Down here in the information box, I'm going to leave some information on how you can make it smaller or bigger, so be sure to check that out. I'd say from zero to six months and up to four to five years old. So be sure to check out the information box. Now, the buttons that I used, I don't know if I remember uh, mentioning. Now, these buttons here are 10 millimeter buttons that I used. And as I mentioned, when I was doing this part, I totally forgot to make the buttonholes here on this side. But the spaces in between the rows here are big enough for you to put a 10 millimeter button. Uh, eight or nine will also work. Um, so you can do that as well. I'm using 10 millimeter buttons here and I did six of them. So the little coat is done and that's what it looks like. So this was today's tutorial. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.